All new tonight from the ABC 15 investigators, Phoenix police and city officials tried to keep this information hidden for years. Tonight, though, federal court records are being unsealed in the death of Muhammad Muhaimah. He's the man who died after being held in a prone restraint by Phoenix police, saying he couldn't breathe and begging Allah for help. Investigator Melissa Blasia shows us what the documents reveal. Despite a judge's order to unseal records in the Muhammad Muhaiman case as of December 1st, Phoenix is still asking for more time to redact and release all the police body cam videos. But hundreds of pages of other records were unsealed, giving new details about this man's death. He never disrespected those officers. And it's the saddest part of the entire encounter is that there isn't an opportunity for you to sit back as, a, as an outside observer and say, well, he deserved it. In January 2017, Muhammad was trying to use a public bathroom in a Phoenix City building, taking his little dog with him. Officers discovered the 43-year-old homeless man had an old misdemeanor warrant and started to arrest him. While they never pulled a gun and shot him, um, you can't help but to feel like everything they did was wrong. In short police video clips previously released, you can see one officer's leg on Muhammad's neck. We now have a lawsuit deposition where an officer explains how Muhammad was moving around so much that that caused the officer's shin to be on his neck. When questioned further, the officer, Oswald Grenier, admitted putting weight on Muhammad's head or neck would have been illegal, but he claims he was not doing that. As multiple officers held Muhammad down over several minutes, Muhammad was saying he couldn't breathe. Can I breathe? And he begged for all his help. Please, no. Phoenix lawyers defending the officer's actions, but they did agree to a $5 million payment to settle with the Muhaiman family last month. I'm investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona.